Right? It's okay. You're doing okay. Okay. So without further ado, Brett Goldstein. I'm actually, I'm really excited about the Diet 7 off. Like, that's pretty big. That's, that's, that's working. That's special. All that's right. huge. Um, so, you know, I was actually, as, as people were doing their introductions, I'm, I'm like, do I say, I am Brett Goldstein, I quit my job? Like, <laughs> like, what is the best way to do this? But then I remembered, so I've been watching these tweets, and I'm like, okay, so we're streaming, we're taking notes, I see at least two reporters here. So we're slowly going to get a nicer, more gentle story. So the good stories will be in the after party. Um, anyhow, so um, what I'm looking to do tonight is not talk about what I did. And when Dan and I sort of talked about me, because this is my last public speaking before I become a normal person again. Um, I, it's, okay, no laughing. From my staff, you know, for 22 hours. Um, it's what I, I want tonight to really be about. This is my opportunity to thank the people here, because when I looked around the room, I recognize a lot of faces, and you know, and we'll get into this in a minute because I'll go completely off my presentation. Um, we we came into this new administration to try and do something really different, right? And when you come in, in into a city like Chicago and you want to do something like that, you can't do it alone. And many of the people in this room have been trying to do things we're going to talk about for a long time. So really what I'm hoping to come out of tonight is to tell some stories, because Dan said I should try and be more entertaining than usual. Not sure what that means. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, but really illustrate it's been a community that was able to take us as far as we, we've come in the past two years. And like I look around, I see obviously Dan's been active, Lagita, Steve, um, you know, Mike, Derek, all of these folks have been putting effort in for years. So please take this as me reflecting on the past couple of years and saying thank you because we've done some real work but it wasn't just about us. Um, so this is like, I'm, I'm very grateful, and this is how I actually wanted to end my part in the administration by coming back to this group. Um, so, okay. So we've changed things, so good job. Um, so where did we start? Okay, so let's talk about May of 2011. Right? So I'm going to tell you guys some secrets. Um, but they aren't real secrets because I guess we're streaming live and then everyone knows. So people, you, you folks know me, right? I spent the majority of my career at OpenTable, right? Come from the West Coast startup world and then I joined the police department. Spent five years there. Great. So um, in May of 2011, I was wrapping up my time at the PD. I had done five years. Um, and some of you know my wife. Um, I had told her when I left Open Table I would do five years in public service. And then I would go back and probably do another startup or go to the private sector and you know do all that. And that whole plan was working well. Um, so it was May um, and I had a great offer. I was going to be a VP of engineering at a startup. And I would some secrets. secrets. Whitaker, he's a problem. He has to <laughs> scream it to the world. You know? And what it was between to do. Whitaker and NPR and whoever else is lurking here. Um, so I had a great offer. Everything was wonderful. And then, so I get on this email on a Sunday night, and it said, hey, Brett. And it's from the transition committee. And they're like, so we've heard some really, really great things about you. Would you mind just swinging by the offices to have a little chat tomorrow morning? And that's when everything changed. Um, so I go over there, and um, I met with some people. I talked to the mayor, and I got this sort of, for those of you who don't know me, I don't know anything about politics. I really don't. Like, I am off in Brett's world. I, I 
you know, like, oh, Rahm Emanuel was elected. That seems good. Um, so I go there, and I'm talking to the mayor-elect, and I'm talking to a variety of people, and I got this sort of vision of what the mayor wanted. And he wanted to have a data-driven government. And it was a no BS message. Like, you know, remember, I'm the police at this point. Like, you know, I can detect BS. And I'm like, wow, this is legit. This is what he wants. And they talked about creating this chief data officer position, which would be in the mayor's office, which would sit in the policy group and would be the anchor of all things data. Because the mayor wanted data to drive decisions. Um, so we're getting to the secret part. So one of the things that came up really early on was this whole open data thing. So, and this is what I'm going to sort of let it out. I didn't really know anything about open data. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, open data. So I use Mr. Google and I put in open data, ROM, go. And then so I see a press release on talking about an entity did at Microsoft, right? Where he talked about open data and, and the role that would play in transparency. So I knew data. And I, I know all sorts of special things about data, but I didn't really, being a somewhat apolitical person from Boston, I didn't have a lot of knowledge here. And yet when we got, as I talked to more people, I, I started to realize that data would be touching all sorts of pieces, ranging from how do you verify policy makes sense to how does, how do you sort of make sure policy works, but then how do you speak to this issue in Chicago about open government, right? And how do you do open government right? And people have heard me talk before. What is open government? Open government, in my opinion, is not putting a PDF of people's salaries on the web, which then someone has to, and this has happened apparently, paid to be re-inputted so that it can be searchable. That isn't open government. And then I realized that as part of my portfolio, this would be part of it. But the part that, that came together for me was they all tied together. These were not separate projects. As we made government more open and we taught people to be comfortable with data, we were actually going to be able to better use data internally. We'd be able to use it to measure. We'd be able to use it to predict. We'd be able to use it to do business better. And all of those pieces came together. And then, you know, who says no to Mayor Emanuel? So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll take the job to buy startup. Um, and May 16th, 2011, I joined the administration. And you're talking to someone who never thought they'd say the words, I'm joining an administration. <laughs>